KB, I want to back up to Please. something, though. You're right. You know, we, you talk about being 18 and 23 and 36 with a big income or, or nice income. And you say to yourself, you know, hadn't really hadn't made any money. We were we were we were making deposits in a future fortune at that time. Mm. Right. I mean, I, I think to myself. Back then, the, the stuff we did, we learned what 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 it meant to do things when no one was watching. We learned to go through things that seemed like they would make no impact, and we just kept doing them. Um, we had good mentors, we had good coaches, but yeah. we, 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 we made a promise. Um, that makes me kind of emotional, right? We, we, we came up with this thing called See It Through, and uh, that kind of matured through this leading up to the time we started the business. But you, know, you say we, we might not have made a lot of money, right? And that's what everybody judges it off of. But the skills that we were able to stack, the things we were able to learn, the philosophies that were embedded in us, and me even being down a corporate path a little bit, um, you know, you, you'll, you, we'll never be able to quantify that, I don't think. I mean, I, I, it's, uh, it, that's, that's probably, to me, one of my favorite parts of the story. Is I, I, you know, everyone wants to know, you got the, you're, you're doing this thing, are you making any money? First question. Right? You're making question. any money doing yeah. it. And, and someone that's inexperienced would say, no, nah, I ain't made any money yet. Right now, nah, nah, I haven't made any money yet. But when you look back at it as an adult, or now people, you know, guys that have that have, you know, bled and sweat and fought to build a business, and and man, we we were banking fortunes back then. We were banking fortunes back then. So on the back of my collar here, if I flip it up, it says "See It Through." So every jacket wow. that we have on the back of the that's on right. the back of the collar says "See It Through." You know, and because there's just been a lot of dark moments where you just look at each other and be like, man, are you still in? Yeah, I'm still in. All right, let's make a pact here, you know? And so I know for a fact that if it wasn't the three of us, we would have quit, you know? And, and, and that doesn't even just go for the, the days when we were banking fortunes and not making any money. That goes for here at Urban Young too today, you know? Like there were a lot of challenges in the early times. There's still a lot of challenges, but that's the fun. But you know, where if it was just us, if it was just me, I know that I would have been like, I don't know if this is worth it, you know, but because I get to do it with these guys, you know, and because it's like, you look at each other, you're not, if you're not going to quit, I'm not going to quit. And I think there's power in that, man. Like, you know, finding group group of people that you run, you know, ride or die with, they get you through the times that the, you know, the goal is just don't quit. You know, sometimes it's, you're just talking about this on the way over here. It's like when things are really tough, sometimes it's not about like, achieving some sort of goal achieving some sort of success sometimes when stuff gets really really difficult the most important thing is for you to just sit in it and just be willing and able to just sit in it long enough and not hit the eject button and if you could do that long enough and you could do that over a long period of time you just have such an advantage because what will happen is people will they'll tap out you know the people that you're competing with will tap out and i look at what we've done and and you know i'm, I'm grateful but man, I don't think there's anything special up to this point, other than we're just more resilient than a lot wow. of people that we ran with. You know, like we just we were just willing to do more for a longer period of time than most people are willing to do. And I know that that doesn't come. I know for me personally, that doesn't come from my personal motivation. I think it comes from being able to run with these guys. Yeah, I think to piggyback, I think a part of me is impressed because we're still in the game but how unimpressive our story is and our start is, I take a lot of pride in that because, yeah. you know, we didn't have fast success at all. If anything, we were the worst, right? Like we talk about that all the time. And so I think to that point, the only thing that was different is just, oh, you stayed in a little bit longer. Oh, then we figured out, got a little traction. And it's, for me, I learned that in sports too. You come in mm -hmm. to school with guys that are better than you, right? But they, they can't stay in it long enough. They can't go to class. They can't do the conditioning. And then all of a sudden, these guys lose opportunities or quit or transfer. And all of a sudden, you find yourself in a position where you got an opportunity, right? Wow. And so I look at that in the same thing of the professional life. And um, it's a good lesson. That's it reminds me of boxing. Yeah. I do boxing. And, you know, you're in a round and you see your opponent kind of tired, but you keep, you know, you keep pace and conditioning and the preparation. If you can hold enough and keep flying, you eventually will come out right. Um, mm -hmm. But that's the biggest part. That's the hardest part mm -hmm. to hold out, right? Yeah. 